A popular D.C. cat cafe could close its doors for good in the next two weeks if financial relief doesn't come soon. Like so many small businesses across the country, the founder of Crumbs and Whiskers is struggling to pay workers and stay afloat. Makia Turner stopped by the cafe, which may not survive this pandemic. This is really tough news for the community to hear. Crumbs and Whiskers has been closed for a little more than a month now. All of the cats and kittens are in foster homes. Now, it's this location specifically off of O Street that's at risk of closing. It typically houses the cats, but the owner's telling me it would just be one way to save money that's no longer coming in. It's a cat lover's paradise. I mean, it's, you know, my heart and soul. One cuddle-filled experience that spreads lots of love between visitors and these furry temporary residents of DC's Crumbs and Whiskers. All of the cats are rescued, seeking a forever home. What I love about kind of what we do is not just that we're saving cats from euthanasia and shelters, but like really it's a place where it's a deeply healing space for a lot of people. That's Kanchen Singh, the founder. Before the spread of COVID-19 and the lockdown that followed, customers were able to reserve timed visits to bond with the felines over cafe purchases, a main source of revenue that's now lost. It's all brick and mortar, which is why this has hit us so hard. Singh was forced to close all locations March 16th. Since then, pulling in enough money to stay afloat has been tough. Part-time workers let go. It's been really hard because it's taken away essentially how we make money entirely. Singh says she's tried everything from applying for local grants to federal loans, but nothing has come through. The team has only managed because of contributions, online sales of merchandise, and these kitten grants. When are the humans coming back? Online, customers saddened by the news. One person writing, without CNW, I wouldn't have come across the cat I adopted. I hope at least one location in D.C. remains open. Singh says the decision decision on closing this location isn't final yet. The deadline would be the first or second week of May. If you'd like to learn more about how you can help save this location, you can get it on WUSA9.com. Makia Turner, WUSA9.